Hello everybody, I am Duke James, and this is the continuation of my Russia campaign. In the last part, we fought the Kazakh Horde, took a bunch of their territory. My Admiral died. Alright. I'll leave that position vacant for a little bit. I'm going to fight the Golden Horde, take this one territory right here. Let's see, 20% aggressive expansion. Yeah, let's do that. Expansion East. The Turkish Empire doesn't have any troops, really. They have, like, 2,000 men, so I'm going to move the rest of my troops, other than these 6,000 troops, to the Balkans. So these three units are going to the Balkans. This guy's going to take out the Golden Horde. Send these guys over as well. Should be a quick siege. So I'm probably going to ally Albania and then give them a lot of the territory over there that I don't give to Venice because Albania was a communist socialist state one of those um, but they weren't actually directly underneath they weren't a part of the Warsaw Pact to my knowledge they were kind of aligned with them so I think I'll just ally them as an ally for the rest of the game. Let's have these guys revoke all of their cores. Because why not? All ten of your ducats. How many troops does Mogulstan have? Because I'm thinking I should probably take that one territory that they have right now while I have troops over here. What's going on? Okay, yeah, it's up here. They don't really have troops. So this province would connect these two provinces, and I could walk down this way or up here. Though I'm not sure if I could get to their capital, because this is wasteland. I'll just leave it for now. Focus on the uh, Turkish Empire. Have these guys join up with the other privateers against the Egypts, Egypts, the Egyptian trade node. I am back to development level 1, which sucks. Where is it? Development level 1 sparse, because I took all of this territory over here. It's a bit unfortunate. Alright, everybody's walking back. 
We can do a liberate, liberate the faithful CB against the Turkish Empire and take this area. If Venice wants to stay in the war, I'll give them more AM. Hopefully they don't peace out again. Peace deal with the Kazakh Horde ends in 10 years, so I'll come back over here in 10 years. I'm building a bunch of mines. I'm going to build marketplaces and mines in Crimea. Increase the trade value in that node and my trade power. I took trade power from Venice, they gave it to me, so I put a merchant in the Adriatic node, so I'm collecting five ducats there. So that's pretty good. I'm making, what, uh, 53 ducats a month. Part of that is the uh, war reps from the Mamluks, so that'll end next year. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fight the Turkish Empire, take this area, and then I'm going to fight the Mamluks. And then I'm going to fight Georgia at the end of the Mamluk War because the Mamluks are guaranteeing Georgia, so I can do that. Get around that uh, guarantee. There we go, Mamluks took a bunch of territory. What I didn't want to have happen, but it's, I uh, allied the Germayan tribe or whatever country a while ago, and they uh, they died to the Turkish Empire. So I was gonna try to make that country have the rest of the Balkan, the Anatolia, but that didn't work out well. Got a couple of rebellions, they should be fine. They took a bunch of provinces. They don't really have uh, aggressive expansion, just with the Turkish Empire. Because they took Sunni land. Nobody cares about them. No Catholics care about Sunnis. No Sunnis really care about Catholics. Uh, ecclesiastical writings. Let's go with that one. Actually, these guys could, uh, I have transport ships now, so I could just pick these guys up. That's the faster method. these ships privateer. I think I have a couple too many ships privateering. So I'll put...
put 20 privateering and keep the 5 for the Turkish War, because I'm not sure how many tr uh, ships Turkey has. So these guys can go back to the Egypt node. <laughs> Combine these two ships. There's those guys. Alright, Turkey. Let's bring those guys over there. Some guy. Skill 2, I'll take that. Liberate the Faithful. I'll do it on one of the Wallachian provinces. Doesn't really matter which. Ramazan won't join. Venice won't join. Venice, I'm trying to give you territory here. Just accept. Alright, I'm not going to call in the uh, Teutonic Order. I'll move these guys to Anatolia, take care of that region. I'm not going to call, take any support from uh, the estates. Let them loot. Rising support among the Moldavian population. Citatia Alba gets local unrest and production efficiency. Soroka and Houghton. Okay. Let's see, S. Need to uh, use hotkeys more. Looks like they have 3,000 men to the south. 5,000 men total. Corrupt advisor. Why do you guys have to be corrupt? Uh, the master recruiter, Leonis something, dies. Yeah, it's fine. There's a new plague. I'll actually look this time. In Havana. Is that... That's not Havana, is it? See, I can never find these provinces, so... It's, uh... It's somewhere. not anywhere I can see. Either that or they're telling me the wrong name for some reason. Let's take those guys down to there. You take that. You guys take that. Pause. You guys go up there. Neville Coring. Neville is where? Okay. Send him down there.
You guys can go over there. Koran Minsk. Nice, I'm just getting all those cores. Free cores, yay. I need that event a thousand more times for all these provinces. It's actually, the list is shrinking because they keep giving me those cores. That event changes territorial cores to full cores. Kazan, Urban Industry, Metalworks, as always. Eighty five percent. There we go. See, they have six thousand men somewhere. They have no fort over here. They have just a fort at Rhodes. So I don't they don't have a navy, so I have these guys protect trade in the Black Sea. So I have one guy siege, and then I'll go hunting for their other troops. They're down south. Alright, so I'll take out those troops. Their Miltech is... 21, so I'm like four levels ahead of them. Should win that fight. Rather easily. A 3-3-2 versus a 3-3-2. 6-2-1, 5-1. I have higher tech levels. Way worse discipline, though. Let's actually send all these guys down there. I don't like fighting fair. I want a uh, numerical advantage. A missionary strength, plus 5% against Catholics and 3% against Sunnis. This will help out immensely. No missionaries, though. You don't get any missionaries from state religion. Have these guys just siege? Those guys can help out that siege. Oh, they're down here because they're hiding behind roads. Alright. I'll let you hide. I'll just take your capital. Let's have them go to the capital. Let's 
Like I can swing down to Plovdiv. Those guys can go there. You go there. And you go there. You split up, you go there, you go there. You convert that province. Only 57%. Well, I'm gonna take their capital. You go there. Ooh, there is war dynamism. Ottoman province gravity. What is this modifier? They get free. They get local manpower modifier plus 50%, base urban gravity 2.5, and urban gravity modifier plus 10%. Why did they get that? That's not fair. I just get monastic towns. Granted, urban production power and base urban gravity 1.5, pretty good, and it lasts for the rest of the game, so. I guess it's kind of even. A little bit. Let's have all these guys meet up in Tyre. Send some troops over here to the Maria. Get them to take that. One of you go down there. I can take this, I'll go to Rhodes. Yes? No? Soon? Uh, states are restless. Why are you restless? I think I will take the corruption.
Because I don't want the Greater Nobles to lose 5 loyalty, 10 loyalty. Actually, you know what? You could just give them a gift, and that would be half of that. So, it's probably the better option. So, I will refuse them. And then uh, I will end this part here and uh, continue this war in the next part. I should finish it in the next part. Let's see, my war exhaustion is 2.4. It's not bad. Then I'll probably fight the Mamluks. And uh, yep, yeah, that'll be in the future. So I want to uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next part. Goodbye.